Hello, Virgo. Welcome to your horoscope. Well, I mean, this is the last whole week of Virgo, but not the end of Virgo yet. We'll have a few more days of Virgo in my next horoscope, but, you know, between now and the 19th, what are we seeing? Well, we're starting out the weekend with um, Moon and Taurus, so that's a good weekend to travel. Good weekend to uh, look at a different place to be at and see how that is for you, just to discover something different. Um, to learn something new, to take learning into a serious account. And um, we've got Jupiter in the 12th house, so this is also a time to develop yourself spiritually to say to yourself, you know, I'm going to try and make good karma. I'm going to try and emulate good behavior that'll reduce suffering on the planet. Reducing suffering sounds like a really cool idea. You're looking good. You got Venus in the first house. You know, you not only have you been the flavor of the month, but now you've got that beauty of Venus, that handsomeness that makes you attractive to others. And um, finances are improving with Mercury in your second house now, along with the North Node. It's like you're willing to work and to sell things you don't need and to get that money together that you need to get together and you've got um, you're more mature about how you communicate to others you're more mature about the limits to what your environment is and now that you know Mars is moving out of your third house you know there might be this itch to move or just to do a lot of home repairs and home improvements or to uh, you know suddenly visit family um, transforming the way you love finding spiritual qualities for how you relate to others and um, being just an all-around great asset to the community avoiding the criticism and looking for the good and praising it that's the medicine you need right now Virgo